All right, tough guy. We need to have the talk. Know the one I mean? Whenever you call me tough guy, I know kissing is somehow involved. Don't pucker up just yet. Emperor's dead, galaxy's temporarily saved. Time to focus on us. We're good together. Question is, what kind of life are we gonna have? I'm not fighting this war for anyone but the woman I love. The one who makes this ship into a home. I'll spend the rest of my life with you, Kira. If you'll let me. Of course I will. Thanks for asking. Forever sounds about right. Shame we can't throw a party and invite everyone, but this'll do. I'll send the others on a mission. We'll have the ship to ourselves. Make sure it's an especially long mission. The girl could get used to this. Probably best if I don't, at least until this war's over. Sooner we get rid of the Empire, sooner we can enjoy moments like this full time. Let's get cracking, handsome. Isn't teamwork grand? When I was first given this assignment, I believed it would be an excellent opportunity to serve the Republic. I underestimated. It has been the greatest honor of my life. You can serve with my squad anytime, Sergeant. Thank you, Master Jedi. I promise you, I'll train this squad to be the most efficient fighting machine in the Republic, even the droid. I'm with you until the bitter end. Victory or death! As you say. Just got an interesting hollow message. Childhood friend of mine. Think you'll want to see it. He's gone. Everyone knows that. But his voice, still in my head. Can't sleep. Nothing makes sense. The Emperor is dead. Why is he still talking? You silenced him, Kira. Show me how. Please. Name's Shuri. Trained with her on Korriban before I left. She's a child of the Emperor. A child of the Emperor seeking help from a Jedi? Not just any Jedi. The only ones to break the Emperor's control. Shuri's gone rogue from the Empire. Hold up at one of our favorite vacation spots, Voss. And whether or not we can help her, we sure don't need another crazy Sith wandering Voss. We'll set course for Voss immediately. I have Shuri's coordinates. We'll confront her together and figure this out. Shuri needs help. Let's not keep her waiting. Jerry needs help. Let's not keep her waiting.
Stay back. Stop talking. You're not real. None of you. Calm down. We're plenty real. You? No. There's no hope. He won't be silent. He puts words in me. Come with us. We can teach you how to defy his will. The Emperor's gone, Shuri. He can't control you. He wants me to flee? Uh, no. Uh, attack. Set fire to Ord Mantell. Uh, wait, that's wrong. Freeze the oceans of Manan. Changing commands. Which are lies. What is truth? Can't live like this. Help me. Kill me. Death isn't the answer. We'll find another way. No other path. Death brings silence. Enough. Leave us, Jedi. She is our sister. We will make her whole again. Tell me who you are, and I'll consider it. Don't. I remember Tanak. He's vermin. We are children of the Emperor, like her. We understand what it means to be severed from him. With our assistance, she will regain control. Without it, she'll die. There's nothing you can do. Nice story. Got a better one. We take her to Tython and she gets real help. We can free Suri from the Emperor's will. Loyalty to the Emperor is forever. And she does not want to be free. Tell the Jedi how you summoned me. You begged for my help. I... Yes. He'll rearrange the words. They won't hurt anymore. I'll be silent. What's the plan? Let her go with them, or fight it out? Blast, I hate this. My gut says let her go. A wise choice. Come along, Shuri. Things would have gone bad if we'd pushed them. This way, we get another chance to bring Shuri around. I never gave up on you. We won't give up on your friend, either. Keep that up, you're gonna make me cry. Nobody wants that. Boss gives me the creeps. Let's get off this rock. When we're back at the ship, don't run off to practice your lightsaber forms. I'd like to chat. In private. Been thinking about that bad party we went to on Boss. Raises a lot of questions. If Tanak was being honest, the children of the Emperor are still hearing his voice. That bother you? Tanak could have been lying. There's no point worrying until we know more. Sure he's not answering the Hollow. Big surprise. Plenty of Force users keep jabbering long after they're dead. Emperor might be one of them. He may be reaching out to his servants, manipulating them towards some new goal. Ugh, can't he just die already? One bright spot to this? I'm not hearing strange voices. The Emperor and me? Definitely over. I'm with you to the end, but I hope it's a long ways off. Still remember the first time I met you on Tython. All I could think was, why is Master Satil fawning over this guy? Not like I didn't understand the attraction, it's just... She's old. Never really stood a chance. No one else even comes close to you. I'll be keeping it that way. Point is, I know a good thing when I see it. And you're not getting away. Someday, let's retire from this Jedi business. Spend the rest of our lives having fun. I enjoy fun, but what about our legacy? We're already breaking the Council's rules against relationships. Might as well have children, too. All right, but you're in charge of cleaning up after them. Four sensitive children make big messes. Here's to the future, tough guy. You're not like most Jedi. That's a compliment. I now understand why your counsel tries to control your pleasure as well as your anger. Pleasure is a far more powerful motivator. What good is having power, if you can't enjoy how it feels? Power is only one of life's pleasures. I still remember the feel of sunlight on my skin. The scent of favorite foods. 
the color of my first love's eyes, to experience those simple pleasures again would be worth anything. The Emperor took all that away from you. Don't fool yourself into believing you can get it back. At least I have the satisfaction of knowing he paid for what he took from me. I understand why your council controls you. What I'll never comprehend is why you let them. We have no time to waste. Be done with this. You have surprised me, Jedi. You have the heart of a Sith. Had you been born on Korriba, you would be sitting on the Dark Council now. It is too late to turn you fully from the light. But should your children have a connection to the Force, I will see them properly trained. Was that a compliment or a threat? How did you take it? The Force is strong in you. Too strong for the restrictions the Jedi impose. Had you been instructed in the true way of the Force, the galaxy could not match your power. I will make sure that mistake does not happen again. Is something wrong here? Hero of Tython, I do apologize for the interruption. I've heard much about your struggles from Master Satil. I am Shoal Bestros, Chief Historian of the Jedi Council. I have a troubling situation on Belsavis, and your wisdom could prove helpful. What can I do for the Jedi Council, Master Bestros? I came to Belsavis to study the alien prison, and I found references to a section called the Eternity Vault. The vault contained the greatest enemies of the ancient Rakata, and was said to be permanently sealed under thousands of tons of rock. I know what kind of beings the Rakata imprisoned. What makes this vault different? The Rakata kept most of their prisoners alive on purpose. The Eternity Vault was for the ones they couldn't kill. During a recent Imperial bombing run, a new set of caves was uncovered. I fear the Eternity Vault has been opened. A sickness in the Force. We uncovered Rakata carvings that may shed light on our foe. They speak of a Rakata warlord imprisoned here. The Infernal One, who enslaved a thousand worlds, who drowned the sea of stars in blood, so far as I can translate. These carvings, what else do they say? The legend mentions an army of ancient species united to defeat him. He was buried with his servants and his treasures. Gather your team, as many allies as you can find, and stop the Infernal One. I fear for our galaxy if he escapes. We'll deal with the Eternity Vault. Make sure the Empire doesn't follow. It will be done. May the Force be with you. Yamperu Amka, Kalami Nayakira, Nabua Ripok. 